A few months ago, I shared my price prediction for AMD based on what we knew then, but something just happened that changed everything. Well, actually, there's two things. The first piece of news is that the US just cleared chip sales to China once again. And this is massive. AMD and Nvidia were previously restricted from selling their most advanced GPUs like the MI300X and the H100 to Chinese buyers. In fact, as a result of these restrictions, it is estimated that AMD was gonna lose approximately $1.5 billion in revenue because of these restrictions in 2025. So right away, we've unlocked a new revenue source for the company. And that's not it, because with this move, AMD has once again access to a market that is estimated to be around $182 billion, projected to grow to $429 billion by 2033. And that's not it, because with this move, AMD can now sell modified or alternative chips that comply with these new export guidelines, opening access to China's seven billion dollar AI market in 2025 which is expected to double and reach 14 billion dollars by 2027. This means new revenue streams without direct competition from domestic Chinese players like Huawei in the high-end inference segment and the crazy thing is that the second news drop might actually be even bigger amd just announced their mi350 chip and is not just competitive it outperforms nvidia's h100 in inference workloads according to early third-party benchmarks and not only that but actual potential customers in fact openai ceo sam altman said that the performance and the spec for this chip were amazing and the one thing to note is that in the ai race inference is critical this is the phase where ai models are deployed not trained and it makes up over 60 percent of the total ai compute demand across industries and with this new chip amd is positioning itself to grab a slice of the ai inference market projected to hit 60 billion by 2026 and these two pieces of news together, they completely shift the game for AMD. We're talking an expanded TAM where AI chip sales to China are now back on the table, a growing competitive advantage where AMD is now a viable alternative to Nvidia in data centers, and higher revenue potential where conservatively for the foreseeable future in 2026, this could add somewhere between two to four billion dollars annually in amd's top line by 2026 that's the kind of growth that was not in my original model so i rebuilt it and the results really surprised me for my models and price prediction for this particular stock i utilize y sheets one of the formulas that you can see i'm using right here is equals y's b1 where amd is the ticker in the formula revenue ttm and this provides me with all of the data that I need instantly to model different scenarios. On top of that, I can apply this simple formula to get this real-time data. And as you can see with my current assumptions, we're looking at a pretty positive upside downside percentage. In this case, we have a positive 6% upside. And the reason why is because in my assumptions before we had an expected revenue growth of 10%, whereas now with these new developments, this grants a revenue revenue growth of around 70%. The terminal price to sales ratio remains very similar. You can see right here that looking at the comps, it's actually justified. And then we have a 12% discount rate, which really we can move even lower based on the company size. And altogether, this gives us a price per share of $170, whereas the current price is only $160 per share. Based on my updated model, my personal fair value target is $170 per share, as you saw. Right now, AMD is obviously trading for around $160, and this is with a 12% discount rate. So here's how I'm playing it. I'm building a position right now on the stock based on this 
new information as well as my past research. But the main thing I'm watching is how the AMI 350 performs because if this exceeds expectations, then I may even have to add more of this stock to my portfolio. But now I wanna know what you think. Let me know in the comments below if you think these new pieces of news really affect the stock price and the future of AMD stock. And let me know what you have as your price target for AMD stock. And by the way, if you wanna play around with my valuation model, grab it for free on the link below so you can see how different metrics affect the company's stock price. I'll see you in the next one.